What a nice coincidence talking about project taking place in India and uh, sitting here on a bench in the middle of a big park in the middle of the center of Athens of a big European western city. It is a coincidence because uh, we are here uh, in a kind of wild landscape trying to reconnect exactly with what we have inside us inside this civilization but somehow we have forgotten or even lost this um, this pure connection with nature with wilderness and uh, this is what in a way somehow it is cosmos project cosmos it's not uh, uh, an attempt to become wild, of course, but it is for sure an attempt to reconnect with our roots, to explore these roots that definitely concern us. Cosmos Project is an attempt to live apart Western technological civilization and come closer to societies who still have a connection with uh, ancient rituals, who still have, a, who still have a connection with the sacred traditions. And why, why theater should be interested to these societies could be the question. For the simple reason because uh, theater has started with this uh, tradition, with this ritual tradition. Uh, they were melt together in the past and we tend to forget it. We tend to do theatre uh, only being inspired from ideas, from uh, psychologies. And uh, I believe that theatre should uh, redefine itself and should somehow uh, fulfill again this gap. Already in the past uh, theatre practitioners like uh, Eugenio Barba uh, with his uh, anthropological theater, like Gers Grotowski with the Theater of Sources, uh, have um, digged inside uh, this field. Uh, in my case, um, I work through theater of connection, this uh, theater that I have developed uh, these last years, uh, exploring long term thematics. So all this uh, passage through anthropological theatre on one hand and then through the theatre of sources brought me to the theatre of connection. A theatre that um, uh, through long-term uh, projects, uh, through long-term research on precise thematics, on thematics of the sacred, on thematics of utopia, on thematics of waiting, uh, tries to uh, redefine itself and especially tries to focus on three principal axes of work. The first ax is uh, the myth, which uh, directly uh, brings human, human dash performer to uh, the beginnings of humanity. Secondly, uh, connects uh, the body with uh, its poetry, with uh, its existential questions. And third, uh, creates the field of uh, um, uh, music in action, as I call it. So definitely I believe that Cosmos Projects uh, India uh, will be the um, appropriate framework where um, new uh, discoveries, uh, new um, realizations uh, will uh, come to surface. So the structure of this uh, project is quite rich. Uh, it is composed of many phases. First of all, it is the educational phase. Uh, educational phase which will take place in uh, different universities, uh, in different uh, cultural institutions and uh, will also be um, uh, followed by some lectures, by some projections, film projections. And then just after this uh, educational phase will come the research phase. 
in this phase, uh, together with a small uh, team, four performers team, we are going to go deep inside, we are going to dig inside uh, local uh, ritual and sacred traditional uh, traditions of uh, Kerala region. So just after this uh, research phase will come the creative phase. Uh, all the team together will try to integrate conclusions, discoveries, uh, little details, elements of this research phase uh, in a creative process, modern theatre process of course, and uh, this process uh, will have as focus the liminality. So I would call it, if also if I would try to give a second title, uh, Theatre Paths of uh, Sacred. And uh, as a second part of creative uh, process will be the solo duo performance uh, with uh, Arka Mukopadue, which uh, will have uh, the title Ithaca, inspired of course uh, from the famous uh, poem of uh, Greek poet Konstantinos Kavafis. In this work we are going also to um, use as uh, text uh, reference Khalil Gibran's uh, text The Prophets, uh, some fragments of uh, Antonin Artaud, and uh, possibly some uh, Indian uh, sacred text. Last phase of uh, Cosmos project will be the residency phase. On one hand, uh, in Walden, in uh, Kerala region, a very special uh, residency will take place, focusing on thematic training, untraining, utopia. It is an open wor workshop to everybody, international participants, Indian participants, and uh, it is aiming to develop further more my long-term research on the topic of uh, utopia which has, by the way, already been developed in uh, various places all over the world. Bulgaria, Greece, Russia. Uh, and um, it is uh, supposed to uh, culminate with an open presentation, uh, fruit of the work of uh, all participants, individually and group work. And last but not least will come the residency uh, organized by Company Theatre, uh, focusing on uh, and being inspired uh, from uh, Karel Celsius' uh, eight uh, Jewish children. This residency will take place uh, uh, nearby uh, Bombay. You may of course ask, why to involve so many people? Why to get tired so much? Two months and more and even more for such an ambitious project. Well. It is a good question. <laughs> uh, I would say that, in a way, it is not something material which stays. It is not even something artistic. It is not a sculpture. It is not a bench. It is not. Uh, it is not even a tree that uh, stays, and we can look to it in the eternity. I would say that it is more like a dream, it is something like a, a vibration, something that after this, after this cosmos project, after these meetings, after all these phases, something that will stay in our memories and will remind us that uh, human life is not only technological civilization, but it is, on, it is also something that uh, connects us with, with our roots. With some vibrations that uh, always are next to us and uh, makes our life at the end more soft, more tender. I'm looking forward to meet you, each one of you, either as participant, either as observator, or either as a simple friend.